All right, guys, a couple of minutes of wisdom. Yeah, put jokes aside, let's get serious. So uh, this is a very important video and this is gonna be controversial because this is my, this is the way I look at life and this is my honest experience and thinking. And then this morning I was talking to my dad and I had a kind of like an epiphany uh, because I was just going through my old memories. My, you know, we're talking about my childhood old memories, how I rode my BMX when I was younger, all the injuries, what was important and what was not important. And what I came, what we came to, or what I came to the conclusion was that there are certain constraints in life that we have to acknowledge. And I know this topic is going to be even more controversial because I know some of you guys watching, you're either one of three extremes, right? And uh, these, are, these are the people I've met in the past couple of years and I hang out with. And the extremes are either professional athletes, um, mostly bike riders, but you know, all kind of professional athletes. And um, the second one is people who are really into mindfulness, spirituality, living in the present. And the third one is young entrepreneurs, hustlers who are all about like building a business, financial freedom, living a good life, making money. And I feel like I've been living through, I actually have, I experienced all three extremes to some, some extent. Maybe I can't, maybe I can't say I really lived the fully being in present in the moment, you know, not worrying anything about other things. That's something where I still want to go and experience, but long story short, these are the things I, I found. And these are the things I believe to be true, um, based on life. Um, there are two big constraints that we have to acknowledge and no one can really get around of these. And the first one is your physical body. As time goes by, obviously everyone knows it's going to be less, um, your body going to be less elastic, uh, less resistance to injuries. And so, um, and even like you're going to, you're going to feel tired earlier, right? And so when you are young, when you're in, in your twenties, early, you know, teens or twenties, um, that's the, that's the best, you know, time to do any kind of sport activity. Uh, in my honest opinion, um, and really push hard because that's when your body recovers like crazy. And, you know, as time goes on, it's not going to be like that. That's the first constraint. Uh, my conclusion from that is really that uh, in those early ages, when you're like 15, 16, 17, 18, whatever, um, that's when you can, that, that's the best time. Um, and I, I believe everybody should make the most out of it to, to get really dissolved in sport activities and try what your body is capable of physically. Um, that's my first conclusion, uh, because this, this is what gave me a lot of joy and happiness in life. And I'm truly, truly grateful. And no matter how much money I made in the past couple of years and what else I discovered, I would never trade those experiences and memories for anything else. The second one is family where I don't have experience just, you know, just from talking to other people, what I've heard is that, you know, at one stage in your life, not everybody is going to have families, but if you feel like you're one of those who wants to have families at one point, you probably want to have, you probably want to settle, right? You probably want to have uh, a family. And so that comes with it all, comes with its own constraints, right? Comes with its own constraints. And so that comes with its own constraints. And so I guess where I want to go with these all things is I, I want just people watching right now to acknowledge those two, right? As, as time goes by, you're going to be less, it's going to be less ideal for you to do sports a lot of sports or go crazy or go, or go on crazy adventures. Even if you talk about something simple, like, um, and yes, there's always a counter example, but you know, climbing mountains, probably when you are 70 years old, you're not going to be super stoked to climb mountains because you're just going to be tired. Right. And so, yes, you can, you know, there are ways around it, but generally speaking, and the same with family, like once you have a family, you are probably not going to feel like you want to travel the world with a backpack alone right? Because you have your family or you're not going to feel like you want to relocate every half a year. And so what I believe is that life is all about experiencing life, right? And what, what I mean by that is the more you experience from life, the more, um, the more moments you experience, the more different type of life you can experience, the, the more wisdom you collect and uh, the better you're going to understand life. And ultimately what life is all about is if not about, you know, experience, experiencing things. And so that's where I would encourage people. If you ever feel like at least at one part of your life, you want to push really hard and, you know, go crazy in sports. Like I think, um, you shouldn't waste, um, I wouldn't say waste, but that should be when you are very young, you should kind of start there. And so if you're watching this video and you're like 20 and all you do is, you know, building your business and you barely do any sports and, or, there are sports you really want to try. Let's say you want to, you always wanted to, you know, surf or do something like that. And you never really find the time because, you know, 
you know how it goes and you make you know 43 30 40k a month and you feel like that's all for you um be careful because time goes away and you know when you're older you can always make more money but the time you cannot get back right and so you won't be able to use those really really good moments um or really good years when you can you can do those sports effectively that's the first one and the second one same with family right if you want to travel the world you want to go on crazy adventures with your friends and all that kind of stuff again be careful because time goes by and you know once you are there once you're like you know once you have your family it's it's, it's I'm not saying you cannot, but I'm just like, why would you wait, right? Because that's what I see. So many people wait. Like some people is like, yeah, I want to do this, that, but now my business. So I cannot do that, right? Um, I want to do, go on a 10 day meditation retreat, but my business is just too much. And so I focus on my business or, um, or I want to try this sport, but my business or on the, like the other extreme is like some people, they all live in the present moment. Like they're just like, oh, I'm just like doing this thing. But they are like, they struggle a lot because they just don't have money. They are broke, right? And so that's a, that's another big problem. And so I know it's a long rant, but just really wanted to put this one out. What I came up with is what I believe to be true is that in life, uh, out of these three things, this is um, obviously like financial freedom, sports and adventures and the third third one is really your craft your work your life work call it what you want right your pur- purpose I, I like this word purpose quote unquote but um where i'm going with this one is that each and each and every one of these has a, has a has a place when it's easier to make it happen what i mean by that right the first one is financial freedom i believe if someone never made a significant amount of money, right? And never achieved financial freedom. It's always going to be one of one of the goals. Like most people want to be financially free. Let's just admit. And so the best time to do that is when you probably, when you don't have a family, right? When you're like kind of free, you can take risks. You you heard this so many times from probably on YouTube videos and stuff like that. So that's the first one. Just be mindful about it. The second one is sports and adventures, right? So if you're like crushing it with your business, but you don't have time for sports and adventures, probably... Um, you're going to miss out on something very, very valuable, right? Because as time goes by, like you can still build a big business later when you're like 40, 50, 60, like, you know, you're going to have probably more time to, to focus on your life or, or build a business or whatever it is. And so pretty much that, that wraps it up really well. Uh, this is just all I wanted to put out. Um, I know it's like a little bit all over the place and a lot of things, but you know, if you, if you watch this and it just, you know, it's just, if it, if it just has a little bit of impact on, on how you look life, maybe today and uh, gives you a different perspective, then I'm glad I put it out. So have a good one.